Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the two types of motion for position time graphs, uh, speeding up and slowing down. So in this first diagram, here we have the cheetah. The cheetah is by the tree. And let's suppose that it begins to speed up. So let's draw the motion diagram for that. So in this case, because it's speeding up, the distance between each frame is getting larger and we start with the index numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And as we've done before, to make the position time graph, all we do, we take our motion diagram and we imagine rotating it, like the movie Inception, and putting it sideways. Now, once we've done that, we're going to add the coordinates of our axis, and we're going to add the vertical along the for position and the horizontal for time. Notice that the tree is used to remind us to set the origin to be the zero point. And let's add a few time scales and position scales. And now when we want to draw the position time graph, we want to locate at time zero, where is the cheetah? Well, it happens to be right at the origin. At one second, and we continue doing this for the rest of the times. Okay, so now once we have a few data points for the position versus time graph, we want to find the curve of best fit, or in other words, the trend line or the line of best fit. But notice here, it won't be such a linear relationship. So we're going to try to make the curve of best fit. So what this is showing us is the type of motion that we described in the motion diagram which is an object that happens to be speeding up so let's make a note of this so in this case when you come across a parabolic or a quadratic in other words relationship in a position time graph it is showing speeding up type of motion so this is quite straightforward and in this same video, I'm going to now show you what slowing down would look like. To make things a bit more interesting, we're going to set the cheetah to be to the left of the tree. And the cheetah, let's say it's already moving, and it moves towards the right. And we're going to start the timer right as it passes by the tree. Now recall, the tree acts like the origin, right? But we're going to add an extra layer of excitement. Once it goes past the tree, the cheetah begins to slow down. The reason, we don't know, but it just does. So let's show what a motion diagram will look like given that we start the timer as it crosses the tree. And since we're starting the timer right when it crosses the tree, we're gonna start zero, one, two, three. Let's add one more point, four. And as before, when we want to make a position time graph, we imagine rotating. And we're going to set up a coordinate axis, so the position and time. Once again, notice that we set the zero position to be lined up with the tree, because that's going to be our reference point, which is the origin. And vertically, we have our position D and horizontally our time t. Now let's add a few labels into our axis. Okay, so as we've done before, we're gonna make sure that we have the position lining up with the specific time and setting up the coordinates. All right, so like we did before, once we have the few data points, we can try to find the trend and in this case, it appears to be a curve as well. So let's try to see what that looks like by adding our curve of best fit. Notice that in this example, like in the previous one, it resembles a curve which looks parabolic, in other words, quadratic. And this will be representing the motion of slowing down. So let's try to make a note of this before moving on. As I, I just mentioned, so we can conclude that a parabolic, aka quadratic relationship, shows that an object is slowing down. But now we come up with a bit of a problem, right? 
because if you recall the previous graph, we drew a similar conclusion. So if it's a parabolic relationship, it is speeding up. Or if it's a parabolic relation, we can also say it's slowing down. So let me try to make a point to show why this is a bit of an issue and we need some more math in order to distinguish between the two types of motion. So as a quick recap, we can have an object that was speeding up which resembles this position time graph and we had slowing down we might be tempted to think that if a parabola in a position time graph opens up it will be speeding up and if the parabola opens down it slows down so let's see if this is true by adding two more examples for uh, two different position time graphs Notice that for the one that appears to be opening up, in this case, this is not speeding up. It turns out that this object is actually slowing down. Likewise, for the graph that appears for the parabola to be opening down, we might be tempted to think that it is slowing down, but in this case here, it is actually speeding up. That means that our conclusion about remembering if parabola opens up or down is wrong, so we should cross that out. So that's no good. What is good is that we need some more math, and that we're going to be looking at in the next video. So this math is going to help us by looking at the slopes to help us determine whether an object is speeding up or slowing down. But the issue is that we have to take a slope of a curve. Welcome to calculus. Mm -hmm.